Hey everybody, we're back. Uh, I guess this is going to be working on the strat part 9. So, okay, I just took the neck pickup and I wired it to the switch. Positive is going to the uh, third terminal in there. Our fourth terminal is our output. I've got that hooked up to the amp. And uh, I've got the ground connected to the ground side over here, uh, coming off of our neck pickup. And I just wanted to check to see basically which way the switch goes. So we've got the switch up here in our neck position. And go to the neck end. go down here so the switch is going to the first terminal is going to be the bridge the second terminal is the middle pickup the third terminal that's already wired up that's the neck and the fourth terminal with the red alligator clip on it that's our output that's our positive coming out of the switch that'll go to the volume and the switch is going to install this way with the, with the open portion to the left so basically I just wanted to check that to see which way it was going to hook up. Now I can go ahead and wire up the other two pickups. Then I can deal with the grounds and I still have to tape off the coil caps where they're wired together. So I'll be right back. Okay, the uh, middle pickup. Yeah, that's the middle pickup. Middle pickup's hooked up and bridge is next. Okay, and the bridge pickup is hooked up. And the next step is I'm going to need a wire to go from the from the output number four here over to my volume pot. Okay, there we go. One wire to connect the switch output to the volume pot input. And time to wire it up. Okay, having a little trouble getting the camera to focus here, but yeah, fourth wire. This is the one that's going to go to the volume pot. That one's connected now, so next step is wire up the pot. Okay, we've got the volume pot input wired up. And when this thing's all the way cranked up to the right, the sweep arm is going to be over here so this is going to be the output positive and then this one over here is going to be ground so the next step is now we need a wire to go from volume pot to the jack and I'm going to make it extra long I think so that I can take the jack out of the guitar and uh, and put all the electronics in and have the wire for the jack sticking, I don't know, maybe three or four inches out of the guitar so that I can wire the jack and then screw it onto the body. And that way I can leave everything else except for the jack all pre-assembled and just put it in, wire up the bridge ground and run the wires out to the jack and wire them up and that'll be it for having to like wire stuff while it's in the guitar. You'll notice that I took all this stuff out of the pickup so that I make sure that I didn't scratch the pickup or accidentally hit it with the soldering iron and melt it or drop hot solder on it and melt it and mess it up that way so that's why I'm doing it all this way and since it's going to be all pre-assembled I can't pre-assemble the jack because you know then you can't get it back onto the guitar with the wire already on it so that's the basic plan there. So the next thing is, is I'm going to need that wire. I'll be right back. And we're back. Um, not exactly sure where I am in shooting this video. I don't remember if I showed you this yet or not. I uh, took a little time out. Um, part 8. It's turning into quite a little video series here. Part 8 just went public. So, And this is part 9. I'm 
part nine that I'm shooting now. So, so in our last episode, our hero, Mr. Wire, was getting prepped. Yeah, so anyway, yeah. This is going to be the, the wire that goes from the volume pot out to, uh, out to the jack. And it should leave about this much sticking out of the guitar when everything's installed. So I'll have plenty of room to wire up the jack and then shove the cable back. And, or even cut the cable a little shorter once I get it all installed and then wire it up. And then uh, shove it back in and screw it on. So, yeah, the next step is I want to take this thing and I want to connect it to the output of our switch here. And I'll be right back. Just wanted to show you a little trick here right quick. Uh, this comes from my video on building guitars without a real shop. Um, one of the tools that I said that you can often get away without is the third hand tool with the adjustable arms and the alligator clips for holding stuff when you're soldering. This is a good workaround. You just put a rubber band on a set of needle nose and that's going to hold this thing tight while I do my soldering on this there. So, yeah. I mean, you're going to need needle nose anyway and almost everybody can find a rubber band off of something. So, there you go. Save yourself $15. Okay, slight correction. We're going from the volume control to the jack. We're not going from the switch to the jack. I'm sorry to get over here and it's like, wait a sec, there's all these terminals are already have uh, wires connected to them. Yeah. We're going from this terminal on this end out to the jack. And so, yeah, I've moved the pliers, so now they're holding the pot steady. Be right back. And there it is. And that's going to pretty much complete the wiring for the guitar as far as, like, the positive signal side goes. The only thing left to do is tie together the grounds and uh, tape up the coil taps, like that one right there, and uh, it's ready to go in the guitar. Be right back. So, you might have noticed earlier that when I started doing the switch, I was only doing the positives, and you're probably freaking out going, hey man, what about the ground? So, now it's time to take care of the grounds. What we need to do is we need to take Ground, and ground, and ground, and ground, that little tab right there, or we can use that one, same difference, that one's already tinned, so that might be a better option, and we need to tie them all together, and the easiest way to do that is probably going to be with a little negative bus wire here. So we'll like take maybe about this much of this thing, cut it off, wire it to this little ground tab here, run across here, take these other three guys, solder it up to it, and everybody's grounded. The switch is grounded, and all these guys are grounded to the switch. Each of these guys is connected either to a pickup or connected to a pot and then to a pickup. And so everything, this will take our ground from our pickups, through our pots, and into our switch, and then on down to our volume, where we'll have to deal with our next ground. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so, cut off a piece, and you twist up the ends so they're all nice and neat, and then it's time to tin it. Okay, it's tinned. I've tinned it on both ends, and I also tinned it here and here. The idea being this is going to connect to the case on the switch, and then the pickups will connect here, here, and here. Okay, got it on the ground tab, the one that was not tinned, one on the near side. So that's the hard part. And now it's just a matter of getting all these little silver rat nest wires all connected together. Okay, there's the bridge ground. And uh, I guess the whatever, whatever 
this one is is next. Okay, here it is all done. One negative little bus wire. It runs from I wish this camera would focus. It runs from our little connector terminal right here comes around and first it connects to the ground for the bridge and then the ground for the middle pickup and the ground for the neck pickup and then most very important the ground that's going to go off to our volume pot because basically what's going on is our ground this is ground this is earth over here the output jack ground that's going to be connected to the amp, it's going to be connected to you know, the power supply and the electrical and earth ground and this is the real ground. This is where ground comes from or goes to, however you want to put it. So yeah, follow it from this direction. So you've got to have a ground, you got to have the guitar grounded to the jack. The jack is what's grounded to the rest of the world via the cable. And uh, so yeah, the rest of the guitar has got to be grounded to the jack. In this case, we're, we only have the jack connected to the ground on the pot, so all the rest of the guitar has to be grounded to the pot somehow. So yeah, this right here, it connects the ground from the switch and runs down here and serves as both our shielding for this piece of wire and is going to be our ground for over here. It's going to connect to this casing and it's going to connect to the ground terminal here and this guy here, the ground going off to our jack, is also going to connect. So that's what's up there. So yeah, so this section of grounding, the switch and everything connected to it is now grounded and even the case is grounded. So the next step, the big challenge, last, last hard part of this wiring job is getting a ground wire onto this CTS pot and probably just gonna like I guess I just slap like a, a piece of this stuff and I can just go from here to here and then take these other two guys and put them also all three of them put a wire a ground strap wire to this thing and then take it and these two grounds and connect all three of them to this terminal or maybe maybe what I'll do is I'll go here and then here and then have a long wire coming out that I connect these two like this it'll probably make life a bit easier instead of trying to stick three wires onto one terminal so yeah maybe I'll do that instead I'll have a long wire loop from here to here and can wire these other two to it and just wire the end of it to this so I guess that's the next step. What are we doing on time? 13.21. Yeah, I might finish this in this video. Okay. I got the hard part. I got the wire onto the, onto the CTS pot casing. So this is going to be my little negative ground strap for my, uh, for my volume pot. And the next thing I need to do is I need to where are we at here? I need to like solder that onto there. And then this bit's hanging off here at the end. This guy here is gonna get connected to this one and to this one. So yeah, this and that and that get soldered together and that gets soldered to the terminal right that kind of thing. Be right back. Okay, and so there it is. All wired up. We're going from the pot casing or housing to the negative terminal on the volume. And then we've got our ground, which is coming from our switch, and our ground, which is going to go out to our jack. And so that takes care of all the grounding for the uh, for the volume pot part of the circuit. And I believe, if 
I'm not mistaken. Oh, I still got to tape these guys up. And then I think I'm done. And I can put it all in. And then wire up the jack and wire up the ground wire. I'll have to, uh, find, like, here or here or someplace convenient to attach the ground wire to the bridge. So, yeah, let me get a little tape and I'll tape up these uh, coil taps, or coil splits, I mean. Okay, so I've just taken a little bit of tape and I've just folded it over once with the little bit sticking up here. This is going to seal it up, you know, all airtight and everything. It's good as shrink wrap. I'll just come in with some scissors and trim it off nice and neat. Okay, and there it is, all done, all trimmed up in the light so you can actually see where the wire is compared to the tape. Yeah, so that's the idea right there. And uh, that'll keep it all sealed up. Squeeze the end here a little bit more, make sure it's all nice and closed. Yeah, it's looking okay. So, yeah, just got to do that on a couple more on the other two, and it's all done. Okay, and there you go. So, one, two, three, all taped up, all the coil taps, red and white, red and white, red and white, or coil splits, sorry. Was it tap? Yeah, splits, not taps. So, and that does it. All the pre-wiring for the harness is all done. I think that's also going to do it for this video. Um, in the next one, I'll go ahead and mount it back up in the uh, pick guard and put it in the guitar. And then I'll uh, wire up the bridge ground and wire up the jack. So, see everybody in the next video.